Welcome to the Israel Conference. You're watching What's New LA. So uh, there were a bunch of things that interested me. I mean, this, the whole presentation we just saw in Raphael was amazing um, on the Iron Dome and the missile system was just absolutely a blow away. Um, I've met some really interesting people. There's, there's somebody here who's got this system that listens to the music as you play it and automatically turns the pages. And I was thinking about what that does for symphony orchestras, but then what you could do if you're a cook or you know if you're doing some some project or something and it just turns the pages as you get to a particular point. I, I, I love that. Um, just a lot of retargeting groups, some of the interesting advertising, some of the interesting mobile groups. So there's almost nobody I've met who hasn't been interesting. I am the chairman and CEO of Young and Rubicamp. We're part of WPP, which is the largest uh, marketing communications conglomerate in the world. And we're one of the largest ad agencies. It's a, it's a famous, well-known equity. It's been around for uh, quite a number of years, almost 90-something, uh, I believe. Um, and those of you, again, I mentioned this last night, those of you who watch Mad Men will know the name of Rubicam. We feature very prominently, often not very nicely. Uh, but I will tell you that all those stories you see are sadly true. People I'd like to retarget it like that. Um, By the way, uh, there is 20% uh, discount for anybody in the audience who want to buy uh, Iron Dome system for uh, domestic use. <laughs> and if you do it today, you get a free soda stream. So. <laughs> I'm the president of Nice Systems in the Americas, and today I spoke about uh, business activism. That basically, uh, uh, what is the uh, next level for companies after they got to a certain size and controlling a certain market? How they can maintain their growth? How they can maintain their leadership? Um, and the concept of business activism is basically get much closer to the field much closer to the customers and redefine the market that you want to play in. Breaking news. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Tell me about the exciting news. Well, Microsoft just chose Sidekick, the video game studio, um, um, to be the startup of the day. So it's a very exciting time for us and being here together is thrilling. Well, uh, the concept is quite simple. We're going to make Israel the third country to uh, land a spaceship on the moon. Uh, 40 years ago, the, the U.S. had the Apollo mission, and back then the Soviet Union had the uh, Lunokhod missions. Ever since then, nobody went to the moon, nobody landed on the moon. And we want Israel to make that exclusive, really exclusive club of nations or empires that reach the moon. We're going to send a spaceship that's going to land on the moon, take images, HD videos, and transmit back everything to Earth, making Israel the third country ever to land on the moon. It's amazing! What we do, we enable a, any website owner to take its existing website and adapt it to 14,000 different devices out there from feature phones, smartphones, tablets in a matter of m less than two minutes. So you just need to go to our website which is uh, www.genewiz.com enter your website, go through a follow um, three steps of customizing your existing website and ha and at the end you will publish a mobile site. We just reached actually one and a half million downloads on Android this week. Uh, we're getting uh, hundreds of thousands of monthly active users, uh, tens of thousands of daily active users, uh, and really great engagement. We're getting 4.8 star ratings on uh, Google Play. We're on the top three news apps. Uh, right now, so any Android owners uh, can check it out. <coughs> okay, our product is very physical. It's a full body power vest that uh, turns every console slash PC activity to a challenging workout by adding adjustable linear resistance to the user's limbs while playing. And the second one is the connection between the digital world and the physical world. Uh, and we're extending uh, connect these two concepts by using augmented reality. Now, augmented reality is basically overlaying digital information uh, on the physical world to the use of mobile uh, objects. And there is a lot of ways on how to do it. And although you, know, you can see a lot of apps of augmented reality today, it hasn't got to its uh, fullest potential. And Google uh, launched a couple of months ago their project uh, Google Glass, 
and uh, you can see that augmented reality is going to be the technology of tomorrow. So our company is uh, solving the problem of measuring television advertising. And so big advertisers want to know what television is going to work and what isn't. And instead of using, like, I think I maybe I'll guess, we actually use computational big math problems to measure and optimize television campaigns. The Israel conference is the bomb. We meet so many great people here. So tell me about Twitter, your application. We have a company called Uber Media that uh, we do Twitter apps on mobile. Um, our big brands are Ecophone, Uber Social, and uh, Plume, and we monetize them through advertising. Retargeting is a new form of advertising that lets websites go after their site visitors once they leave the site. Weapons that we put up against that was the Aero system, Aero 1, convergent to Aero 2. It's already operational a few years, and that is protecting us already against those uh, medium to uh, uh, short range uh, Scud ballistic missiles. Okay, this is official. We're closing the event of the amazing Israel conference. Hi, Sharona. Hi, Sharona. It was amazing. I thought it was fantastic. It's our fourth year. And there, we had so many people and so many ideas, and someone came up to me and said, the best looking people are here at the conference. Well, we had something very cool. We had a company that announced a $1.4 billion merger. They're called Object Geometries. And they are the makers of 3D printing devices, and they make the outfits for movies like Iron Man 2. Wow. So they came and they demonstrated that. The bookend to that was Raphael came and talked about the Iron Dome. So we went from Iron Man to Iron Dome all in one day. It was mind-blowing. Everybody put their business card into Delta's bowl and they gave away a round-trip first-class ticket on Delta Airlines. And that, very happy people here. It, when people come to the Israel Conference, they win new business and they win prizes. And they have a nice time. Next year, we're doing a whole session on music and music technologies that are coming out of Israel. Can't wait to next year. I can't wait either. It'll be in May 2013 here in Los Angeles. We bring Israel to LA and people come from all around the world to LA so that they can experience Israel. And then we're going to put them on a plane on Delta and take them all back over to Israel. Thank you, Sharon. Can't wait to next year. We'll see you next year and we'll do business in the meantime. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're watching What's New LA. And you can go see us at www.theisraelconference.org. Come see what's happening, visit the site, and book early. We're going to be packed next year in May 2013. You're watching What's New LA. And you can go see us at www.theisraelconference.org. Come see what's happening, visit the site, and book early. We're going to be packed next year in May 2013. <laughs> This video is brought to you by Shalina Productions. If you want to advertise on our news channel, please email us at whatsnewla at gmail.com.